So we're already off to a good start, guys. While we didn't catch this guy, he's coming by to visit. He's coming over, guys. Look at it. What's that called? This is a, I believe it's a snowy egret. What's up, buddy? Snowy. What's going on, adventurers? Hey, guys. So today we're doing something a little bit different yet again. Uh, today we're going to be doing some magnet fishing for the first time ever, which I'm really excited about. But we're going to be testing out this magnet because on Tuesday I'm going to be getting another magnet and that magnet is the one that has come highly recommended. This one's probably going to get more like junk stuff, but I thought it would be fun to practice. You never know. And this is a boating area, so a lot of times people, when they're getting um, in and out of the boats, may drop, you know, something that's metal that could be picked up. Most likely we'll be finding like scrap stuff, you know, maybe like fishing hooks, uh, lures, screws, nails, things like that. But you never know. Uh, never know. It, you know, it, it can pick up heavy metal objects. Although I'm pretty sure this particular magnet will not pick up change like money. So, but the one I'm getting in a couple days will. So I figured it'd be fun to come out here and practice and show you guys what our catches are today. So let's do it. Let's not waste any more time. I'm super excited. It's a beautiful day. Take a look at this beautiful park here. This is called Jenkins Creek. This is in Wikiwachi, Florida. And it is a absolutely beautiful day it's about 82 degrees here and although the water here is brackish you can it's pretty clear it's shallow here so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna cast out my line lisa lisa's gonna film for me <laughs> so let's do it all right all right guys so this is my very first cast with my magnet it's a pretty good magnet i mean it's heavy duty it's supposed to pull a hundred and some pounds i got it at harbor freight it was about 10 bucks i got some line here and we're gonna see. This is my very first cast. Let's do it, guys. Ready? I'm gonna do it straight out. Let's see if anything has attached itself to my magnet. And I have a feeling it hasn't. And the reason why, I was actually watching somebody with one of these types of magnets. What I may have to do is go down here on this dock. Um, and, and actually what they say you have to do with this kind, because the magnet's on the bottom, is you have to just like drop it in and kind of like do like this, like just, here we go, guys. Nice. Whoa. Must have got stuck. The cement probably ends there where I was. Now, the cool thing about the one that I'm going to be getting Tuesday is that that one is a little heavier. And I believe the pull on that one is over a thousand pounds, which they say that it's not true. This one is supposed to actually pick up only up to 25 pounds, even though it's rated at like a hundred or so. So it's not really true what they say. I don't really know how much that one will actually pull. The example was actually a chair like Lisa's sitting in, a camping chair. Somebody actually pulled one of those out of a river, which is insane. I don't see anything on that one. Yeah, I don't see anything on it yet. Oh, but I did find a penny. Ah, see if it picks it up. <laughs> it won't. Let's just, let's see what happens. Nope. So it doesn't pick up money. It but doesn't. But the you found it without will. it. Huh? It wasn't there before, was it? I don't, I didn't see it, which I didn't is crazy. Either. So here, I'm going to give this to Lisa. Let's see what year it is. 1990. I can't even see the last. Uh, probably worn off. 1998? Yeah. 1998. Well, pennies are good fortune. I would say pennies from heaven. This crazy pier, guys. Watch this. Watch this pier. It's not normal. It's like ridiculously it's flippy. <laughs> I'm not going back. I went out there earlier and I'm Whoa. like, mm, how about no? Whoa. I don't know if you cast that. Is it going to tip you? If what now? When you shift your weight, it might I'm tip. Come up here. Okay. Up. That's safer. It's definitely safer. Let me just try it in here for a minute. See if we pick anything up. It almost feels like something is pulling it. Really? Yeah. See how it see how it's shaking? See how I'm just like bouncing it? What the hell is that? It looks like a tooth down there. Oh. Okay, so I'll just throw it out here. Okay. I'll go out here. Ready for it? There she goes. I better not be going. <laughs> One. Two. 
don't know how deep it is here, but it does go pretty deep. Just a little scrap metal in there. Nothing. Nothing worth talking about. I want to go over to the pier. This is my adventure. It's called a camping chair on the pier. Just chilling in the sun. How you doing, Jen? I got my magnet. All right, guys, so I didn't catch anything over there in that last location. We decided to move over to a different location. This is actually the fishing pier. I probably should have worn my hat. I usually do when we do outside adventures. Let's go ahead and throw the magnet back in, guys, and see what we catch. Let's go. So we're already off to a good start, guys. While we didn't catch this guy, he's coming by to visit. He's coming over, guys. Look at it. What's that called? This is a, I believe it's a snowy egret. What's up, buddy? Snowy egret. Hi, beautiful. What's down there? Are there any exciting treasures awaiting? I think he's pointing. I think we should get right there where he's pointing. Is this where I'm supposed to be magnet fishing? Oh, he said yes. Look. All right, Lisa's going to go ahead and film us. Me? Do you want to help? Look. Do you want to help me? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Wait. This might be the one from the Bayport Inn. Oh, maybe. He might recognize us. What was his name? He is comes to this restaurant. Is it Charlie? And he eats, um... Charlie? What does he like to eat? Was Prime rib. Prime rib night. He comes to this restaurant not far from here. Hi, Charlie. Charlie. Hi, Charlie. And he's, like, really tame. Oh my gosh, he's Ready? saying he wants to help you. Ready? We're going to do it together. Here, come back up on the railing with me. Come up here. Come on. I've got any farm rip tonight, but um, I will hook you up next time I see you over at the, at the Bayport Inn. All right, we're going to do it. Ready? Me and Charlie got this. Ready, Charlie? Ready? Here it goes. I do what you told me, man. Let's see what happens. Ready for this? <laughs> He seems pretty intrigued by this. You, are you excited? Do you like magnet fishing? It's like I was hoping you'd pull a fish out for me, but okay. I mean, if one attaches itself, maybe one got a fishing lure stuck in its mouth. Oh. You know, if I pull a fish up, if I pull a fish up, I, I mean, I would feel terrible for the fish. But, you know, you told me where the treasure was, so I gotta pay you mm -hmm. somehow. I have to. I'm just gonna keep bouncing it around down here, right where Charlie told me. What's your thing, Charlie? I didn't catch anything there. What's that? Where should I do it now? Is he pointing out here? I'm uh, not sure. I caught a fish hook. Want to see it? I'm going to get him flying and flying. So the very first catch. Is so a you fish don't hook. have to buy a fish hook today. I think I'm going to leave it on there, though, because I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, they're rusty. So let's too. just leave it on there. Let's try it here. Let's see what we catch here. I'm going to just do it like right here. Is the problem with this one that I was reading? Can I give you a shower? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> the problem with this one I was reading is you have to literally hit whatever it is that's metal, like with the bottom of the magnet. So that's why I'm bouncing it now. Now with the one I'm about to get, it's going to be a whole different story. That one you can literally just drag it. You can throw it out as far as you can and drag it in and hopefully find some treasures. We're going to be looking for some gold, guys. You know how Lisa is. She's always trying to find that treasure. I'm all about the pirate treasure see how dark this water is so you can't really see the bottom and this goes to the gulf of mexico this water this river this is considered a creek we have a lot of boaters here i wonder what determines a creek i don't know do you find something let's see what she has is it metallic it must be. It's stuck to the magnet. Yeah. Look here. It's weird. Yeah. No. What do you think that is? I don't know. What is this? Is that that's metallic too? I don't know. It looks like a stick, but it wouldn't stick to a stick. Wouldn't stick. There's another type of fishing hooks sort Ooh. of thing in here. Yeah. Kind of... But at least we caught something. That's exciting. <laughs> what is that? Some kind of ruckus over there. In the marsh grasses, there seems to be some kind of a animal fight. I don't know. Now it's moved over there. Mm -hmm. 
Could be an alligator. Maybe. I'm sure there's alligators in there. Keep an eye out, guys. You might see one. Might pull up a gator. I don't know. Only if it eats my magnet. <laughs> they might bite it. They might bite it. They might think it's um, something good. They're not too discerning sometimes. That'll get rid of the bugs. Oh, that was all of it almost. Oh, it got tangled a little bit. Right. Yeah. Way out there, though. It's sinking. I, I can do better. I can do much better than that. It'll be a lot easier once I have the next magnet because it can just drag it. Yes. You know, this one's a little bit more. The magnets matter. A little bit more technique required. We'll put one of those on our shopping list. <laughs> Plenty of water down here. And jet skis are nice too because they don't have the propeller under the water, so it doesn't hurt the um, aquatic life like the manatees, especially. Have you caught anything? We're about to find out. She's got has dragged it over 30 feet, maybe, of water. We're about to find out. Let's see what happened in this. This is called the drop and drag technique, I guess. Mm -hmm. Drop, bounce, and drag. I'm getting bit though. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Nothing big. Yeah. Just the fish hooks. A couple like fish hooks though. More fish hooks. On there. Jen's doing the fish hook cleanup. Yeah, that's kind of good. Then the fish won't get hurt or the birds. That's true. Let's see if there's anything over here. So uh, you're gonna get it caught in that brush over there. I wouldn't get in there. The rope will get stuck and then that's it. All your toys are in the brush. <laughs> so this is your toy because when my new one comes you can have it. Wow. I'm going to leave mine in. She's <laughs> going to break my, she's going to break the toy and then give it to me. <laughs> Here Lise. All right guys so since it was our very first time magnet fishing we thought maybe we'd keep it short and sweet just to show you guys kind of how it goes in case you're not familiar with magnet fishing which We've seen videos about it. We've just never done it personally. So it was really exciting to actually throw a giant magnet into the water and see what might come up. But I'm telling you what, our next magnet fishing video is gonna be epic. We are gonna find something awesome. I just feel it in my bones, Lise. All right, we'll have a large magnet, so stay tuned. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.